Namaste, I'm Nalakshi and I'm here with Rashmi, our tarot card expert, liberator, mystic. And today we are back again with another fortnightly tarot card reading. But before we begin, let's talk to Rashmi about what all tarot cards can do for you. Why do we need tarot cards, Rashmi? Well, tarot can literally answer every question of yours. So it could be on your relationship front, it could be your finances, it could be your work front family, everything and anything. It depends on how good your tarot card reader is and how well she uh, can connect with her higher self, how well she can do the divination. So because it's an art of divination. Yeah. Right. But what we do here is we predict for all the sun signs. Right. So and there are many sun signs, a multitude of one particular sun sign. So therefore it's a very generic reading. Hmm. So so that's why I tell the viewers that please take what resonates with you. Right. And leave out the rest. Do not hold any hard feelings or do not think that this is all set in stone. It is generic for everyone. So without any further delay, let's begin with the tarot card reading of this fortnight for all sun signs. So let's begin with Aries. Okay, so Aries, your first card is the moon card which is reversed. You see that. So now moon card reverse is actually a good card because it means that it is only in your mind. Mm -hmm. You know, you're self-sabotaging yourself. Actually, it's your suspicion. So, the particular thing you're thinking about, it's not really happening. Mm -hmm. It's in your mind. So, it's your negativity. So, stop being negative, be positive. That's the first advice to you. And family is great, family life, because there's a celebration. Could be somebody's birthday, somebody's anniversary. So, you're celebrating this fortnight, which is great. And like I said, you're fighting yourself. You're even, you know, in your mind, you're arguing with yourself. You're suspecting yourself even because the moon card reverse means that. So uh, stop not trusting yourself and trust yourself and accept what things are and what whatever is happening around you. That is that will serve you much better. And uh, supposing there was a feud or something was happening in your uh, Maybe family front could be your work uh, front. So even that is going to get resolved. So the lot, uh, you know, the lot of pieces there. So uh, something is going to be resolved also. And appreciate the small things in life. Yeah. Thank the universe for your blessings. Mm -hmm. That's my advice for this right. fortnight. And uh, for your money, uh, just be careful with it. There could be some losses. You know, general losses. People who are trading. So there could be losses in the money front, so be very careful with your money. Mm -hmm. And visualize your dreams to come true, and they will. And stop thinking negative. Okay, that's good. Now we go on with Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, there is somebody in your environment who is not serving you too well, may not be the best for you. So I think it's time to weed out the people who are not really good for you. So you'll have to be very discerning this coming fortnight mm -hmm. as to and try and gauge what's where things are really going wrong. Is it because of person? Yes, it's right. It's because of a person. So try and weed that person out of your environment. Mm -hmm. Somebody long awaited in your life is coming back and um, so somebody loved one, maybe somebody in your family, maybe a brother, a sister, a child. They or maybe even your partner, they are coming back and you're meeting them. It's like a reunion time. And you're going to overcome one particular struggle, one particular problem, which was all-encompassing and it was all-consuming rather. That's mm -hmm. the word, all-consuming. That is going to get resolved. This, this, this product. So that's a great card right, actually. Guys. But be careful, do not travel this fortnight. Okay. Yeah, because there could be minor injuries, minor accidents. So travel is forbidden for you this uh, fortnight. So if you have those travel plans, please postpone them. <laughs> Put them in the back burner. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you will be guided in a miraculous way. Something is going to come to fruition. Something is happening to you very miraculously, and you will be amazed. So be very thankful. Okay. So the next sign. Now, now we go on with Gemini. Geminis. Okay, so Geminis, uh, a new relationship for some of you. You're feeling very strong and very 
upbeat and uh, you're feeling very healthy and good about life. You know, you are the weaver, you're really living life well. Mm -hmm. Because also there's love in the air for you. There's the love card. So somebody is really loving you. You're being showered with gifts. So uh, maybe somebody who's already in your life mm -hmm. is really loving you. Yeah. But on the work front, something is not going to work out and is not working out for some time maybe. So leave that. When one door closes, another opens. Why don't you plan for something even better? Right. So don't get disheartened and try and just let go of which did not work in your work front. So for that you can do some things as advice that take a black candle and light it on a Saturday or maybe you could do it any day of the week. But particularly on a Saturday you must uh, light that black candle. Mm -hmm. That takes away the negativity and things which are not working out for you. So the next sign, Cancer. Cancer. So Cancerians, those of you are in the communication field or those of you are writing, you know, so they're going to do very well. Their, uh, their projects or their work is really on a high, right? And then the Ace of Wands is an amazing card. You also have the Ace of Wands. So something new is beginning up. So you're already doing something, but you're taking up something else. Mm -hmm. So you want to be very busy. And that's great because the card that follows is the Empress card. So the Empress means uh, abundance, happiness, doing very well for yourself and literally ruling the roost. Wow. So it's a great card. Mm -hmm. But stay away from people who are gossiping. Mm -hmm. They could be gossiping about you. So therefore, stay away from such people. And uh, give as much as you can. The more you do for others, the more you get back. So good deeds will wait you a lot of accolades, not only that, but you will get back. Right. Life, yeah. Right. So that's important. So the next sign. Now we go on with Leo. Leo. Leons, you are looking suspiciously at something. You're being suspicious about somebody or in your environment or something that is ongoing. So which may be right because you your intuition may be correct. There is something wrong. So try to get to the bottom of the matter and probably you will this fortnight. Yeah. And impulsively you're going for an adventure trip. So which will may do you good because that will bring fresh energy, you will be feeling rejuvenated. And uh, so, uh, do not recklessly decide something. Do not impulsively or recklessly give away money and invest somewhere. Mm -hmm. That is not going to serve you well this uh, fortnight. Mm -hmm. So be very very careful with your funds and be very very careful of anything you're going to do impulsively mm -hmm. generally by and large. Yeah? And uh, so and for some of you there could be some uncertainty especially on the work front. But that's a part of life and it's inevitable. So if a change is coming, embrace it. Be happy for it and try and prepare yourself for it. All right. That's my advice. Okay, for this fortnight. Yeah, rest, everything is good. Now, we move on with Virgo. Virgo. Yes, so, workers, literally, you're feeling blessed. You know, you're happy in your home. You manage things well. Your family is good. Your children are looked after. You yourself are doing well. And uh, those of you who are not married are also doing well. And feeling content and happy with whatever family they have and uh, don't let somebody take advantage of your goodness. Mm -hmm. So you're being very good, you're being very correct and you're trying to help people but somebody, one person in your environment uh, could be taking, especially one particular person who's, who's also not very reliable and he may not be too loyal or faithful to you. So he's, he or she is trying to take advantage of you. So. Give. I know you're very going to be very giving this mm -hmm. fortnight, but be discerning. Right. Also, on the other hand, uh, pardon people who do wrong by you. Okay. You know, uh, in the Bible it says, "Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do." Yeah. So that kind of uh, situation will come by. So you must pardon and move on because that is for your benefit, and you will feel loved. Some of you, those who are single, are going to be finding their soulmate. Very nice. Okay, now let's look into Libra. 
my son. Okay. Whoa, that's great. There is fortune. Money coming. Right. Great money coming. But there's a period of a little low feeding. So you're going to depends, you're going to be a little uh, emotional, maybe highly strong. Uh, so just be guarded on that front that don't let the emotions get the better of you. Mm-hmm. This come in both night and then you will shine. Because if you get emotional, you're going to get bogged down. Right? And people who are in trading as well as uh, business, there's a lot of speculation going on. So you're speculating, you're trying to... So there's a lot of money back and forth happening, which is a good thing. And some of you are spending a lot of money. So try controlling your expenditures to keep some for the rainy day. And yes, this is not a very um, positive card because it says look after your health. So you maybe because of the hectic activity around you, travel plans should be put in the back burner and you should look after your health. So try and spend more time with yourself. Meditate with a white silver light and take deep breaths and imagine that white light is coming into your whole being and then exhale all the negativity. Yeah, So that will really help you. And remember, anything half done is not fully done. Yeah? So it's not it's good as not done. Mm. So complete your projects in hand. Complete one thing and then get on to another. Right. So yes. Librans, yeah. So Librans have this habit of uh, multitasking. So um, try and uh, complete one thing and then get on to another. Chant as much as Gayatri Mantra that you can. Mm. That will really help you and make you very successful. Right. So now let's go on to Scorpio. Scorpio. So scorpions, uh, uh, you know that nagging suspicion, when the nagging suspicion comes into your mind about a certain thing, things can really go wrong. So try and keep that away. Things are going fine for you. So uh, don't try and let those negative thoughts seep into you. Right? There is a delay. Yes, a card says it's a beautiful card, it's the world card. So when you were about to complete a particular project, that is been a little spoke in, in the wheel and things have not gone on. So it's just a delay. So don't let negativity get the better of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to happen. So be patient and it's just a delay, right? So even in your personal front, you're feeling a little dissatisfied, you know, you, because things are not going the way you had planned. So those of you who are wanting to take that next step forward uh, for whatever reason, whatever circumstances around you, uh, things have not happened the way you wanted them to happen. So again, have patience. So uh, stop being so disheartened and disappointed. So it's it's in your mind basically. So what you can do is you can energize your East. You know, because of your mind state right now, you really need your East direction. So take a compass and see which is your East and try and put you know auspicious articles there like a laughing Buddha, Put a lot of plants, get earth energy. So that's again to energize you and to think positive, to make you think positive and take you on the right direction. So energize your east mm-hmm. direction. Right? Now we move on with uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the love relationship is coming to an end. A relationship which was not serving you so well and stop obsessing about it. Because Two cards clearly say that you need to get on from here. So, uh, without really uh, disheartening you, this has not really worked out for some of you. I won't say for all of you. So, think of a better uh, situation, a better relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, there is definitely new openings for you. right? And money is great. Money is coming to you from your hard work, from even uh, maybe you been expecting some money which was stuck so that is coming to you and work front there's a lot of competition but you're thriving in that competition so it's a good thing because this card says that you will come out victorious yeah and make positive affirmations you know you can go the highest possible that you want you have that potential right now you have that card you know you're like the magician you can really do wonders mm-hmm. so have a positive um, way of thought process 
as well as make those positive affirmations. Mm. That's very, very important for you. That's my advice for you for this coming fortnight. So let's go on to the next sign, which is Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricornians are maybe taking a trip somewhere and uh, it will be a very enjoyable, good trip because you're meeting your loved ones or you're with your loved ones and going somewhere. And uh, for some of you, you're also tying the knot and taking the next step forward, getting married. So if you were engaged, you would be uh, thinking of a marriage and uh, guard against, you know, viruses and ill health and all of that, you know. So uh, not that anything majorly drastic is going to happen, but do look after yourselves, True. right? And uh, simplicity is your mantra. Be simple and be grateful for all that you have. Thank the universe. You have such beautiful abundance here, lovely things. And uh, pray to the goddess, uh, earth goddess. That will bring you even more earth luck. Right, so... Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, you have that beautiful family feeling. You're looking after your home front. You're really getting time off from your work. So, um, you know, it's not that you're not looking after your work, but... You're taking some time off and looking out the home front. Mm -hmm. So doing up things in your home, even refurbishing your home. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea because you're going to feel very happy. And a good news is coming. Maybe somebody is coming to meet you also. Uh, maybe from overseas. You never know. But a good news from overseas is definitely coming to you. And somebody in an authority position, somebody who's like your father figure is helping you out with something maybe a new project and you're taking that leap forward right and yes you also have the wish card so all the positive cards so the wish card means uh, something you were really hoping for and wishing for is going to be happening this fortnight so that's a great card and be grateful thank the people you need to thank this fortnight because things have gone off so well for you, are going to go off so well for you. So thank people. Very nice. And now Pisces. Yeah. So last but not the least is Pisces. Okay. So Pisces, uh, you've been very faithful and very determined on your path, even in a relationship, which probably may not be going so right, but you are determined to make it work mm -hmm. because you want this to work. So that's a very good card and also you are introspective so you are pointing the finger inwards so you're trying to find out what really went wrong and maybe you yourself can correct that situation mm -hmm. so it's a good card of introspection which would take you forward and it will take you to a better direction and to something which is even better so you will correct things and make things better also, be tolerant of others. So, this is basically a fortnight when you yourself are introspecting and being a little more, uh, you know, understanding and being tolerant and letting go of, you know, negativities or negative thoughts or, you know, anger, say. So, so actually the power lies within you. You are powerful. Believe in yourself and trust me, everything will be good. Oh, great. That sounds lovely. So, so that was all the readings for this fortnight for the sun signs. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And make sure you have subscribed us, liked us, and any questions you have for your next tarot reading, or you would want to send in, or you would want to get your own tarot reading done, let us know on the IDs below, and we would be happy to get back to you. And we'll see you next fortnight. Signing off. Namaste. Thank you.